Now we're back to the CapCut. Let me show you this rolling film transition effect. We set our ratio to 16 by 9. Now let me cut the first clip a little bit using the split tool. I'll press B for that. Maybe you have to scale up your videos a little bit when you see these black bars. Just left click on them and then use video basic scale. Let's go to effects. I'll type in rolling. And it can find it. Rolling film. I download it, then click on a plus sign. By default, it's going to be added to one video clip only. But I want to use it as a transition, so I position it right here when we have our jump cut. This already works pretty well. You can improve the results. Number one is let's check the position right here. So we are at four seconds and three frames. I go to four seconds exactly, use the arrow keys for that to the left. Then we position rolling film effect. Afterwards, I select the video, go to video basic, open blend, and I create a keyframe right here for opacity. Then I go to the exact position where we have our transition, and I go down with the opacity to zero. This should create a keyframe automatically. So now we have the effect and it blends out. Let's take care of the second clip. I go to the start where we have our transition, select the second video, create a keyframe, opacity should be zero. Let me go to around, oh, let's say six seconds. Create another keyframe, make the opacity 100%. So now this fades in and the first one fades out. All the rolling film effect is on top. You can always adjust it if you want to. You can left click drag on these keyframes down here. If you make the gap wider, it's going to be a slower fade. If you make the gap shorter, it's going to be a faster fade. And you can reposition and resize the rolling film effect if you want to. There are also two adjustments for that effect specifically. First one is the filters. This is basically an overlay. So let me put the slider here and we can see that you get your richer clip back to the left. And more of this overlay if you go to the right. And the speed is, is for the speed adjustment of this roll. And this is how you can create this rolling film transition in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.